What's up, everybody? This is your stream, Mr. Steven, and welcome to the Steven Factor. Tonight, I'm going to do something a little different here. I love Hoarders, the TV show. I never watched that show before. That's number one. And number two, the show has been there for two decades. I really don't know... I really don't understand. I really don't know how um, that really that I really don't know. I understand this because that um, I am the person who loves reality shows, and if you watch the reality shows, they will give you unscripted te- uh, unscripted details that what is going on in your lives. Now, the hoarders is became one of the longest shows in history. With 10 seasons with 121 shows. And I love it all of it. I watched it like 4 episodes so far. Oh. Excuse me. I'm so tired. But but listen to me. I fell addicted to it. And I hype. And it has to really know about this. I watched the full episodes on YouTube. So I could watch it more often. And to be honest with you. This show... It's not so bad. This show is not so bad. And when I watch it, I feel uh, uh, addicted to it. I see so many people it has been going through. But uh, yeah, it, it was a pretty good show. Now, I want to tell you something here. This show is outstanding inspiration and I want to tell you I will have so many thoughts about it. Uh, people have depressions. They have anxieties and they also they have OCD. Some people really don't like to clean. Um, all these psychiatrists trying to help all these people. The cleaners trying to get rid of all these stuff for the next two days. And during the update episode, some people want to refuse to continue hoarding. And if not, the house will be stay clean. Uh, This episode, I remember so many episodes that could change people's lives. One of the most favorite episodes that I watch is this homeless lady lives the mansion forward. 40 years and her husband leave her and now this how this mansion into like us it's like a city dump with tons of garbage and this show has been broadcast for two hours we have a new owners which are also known as the, the gay couples excuse me and they were definitely gonna find a house they definitely buy the house they finally buy the house and, um, but this woman wanted to refuse, trying to get rid of all these stuff. And she also, she is completely mentally ill. That's number one. Number two, where she definitely get rid of all these stuff? And a warehouse. And number three, where the hell is the warehouse? It's confusing. It was completely mentally ill about this lady. Now, the last part, they're trying to stack it up her stuff on top of the truck. They know exactly what they do. Now, remember, the street patrol decided to give her all these stuff and destroy them. And they definitely to give her them ASAP. Now, like I said, they're stacking them up on the truck. Uh, Matt says... One stack left. The lady said, we got two stacks more. And he said, time's up. And when she said, and when she, and when he said, time's up, she's completely stunned. She knows that she is hoarding. And she knew that her life is over. Get in the car. And she fell crying. And now she finally to leave. And 
and she loses everything. The bankruptcy, the finances, it's messed up whatsoever. Mm. Um, one of the episodes about all these of the hoarder shows are um, always trying to um, oh my god I, like I said I'm so addicted to it there's so many people um, risk, risk their lives and, and, and talk about it through their feelings and even the family secrets some people are definitely exposed as well too so, um, I, like I said, I really enjoy, um, the Hoarders TV show. I mean, like, people, oh, hey, ugh, sorry. People try to let them all out. Uh, people want to expose their secrets of uh, people trying to use the anxiety the, the, the depression tell how they really feel and even some people trying to keep their secrets as well too but again you have to watch the hoarders i recommend you to watch the hoarders on youtube which is on live you can subscribe a and e as well to just subscribe a and e and to be honest with you it was a pretty amazing show now I'm going to do a little bit of review <laughs> that this has become one of the worst format in Hoarder's history. Now the show was ran on six seasons with over um, 71 episodes, I think, on A&E, and it was been canceled. But during a year later, or two years later, I think, um, Lifetime decided to revive the show of Hoarders. And now they're going to do it a very special episode of Hoarders Live. Now, let me tell you something. I watched the Hoarders Live on YouTube. And it was bad as fucked. I hate Hoarder's Life episode. I mean, like, you've been watching the 2024, uh, uh, 2020 format. Do the interviews, all kind of stuff, and even the intervention, it's, it's terrible. It was completely terrible. I, I thought we we're going to do some cleaning scenes or do a little action, but no. they doing the intervention. Which is bad. It was completely bad. Now, here's the review of uh, how it all began. Um, we have a, a doctor who made the host on the live episode. Matt is here and interviewing. We have um, a first scene about this old guy uh, who lives in a, in a house. With these two flowing rats in the toilet. And I don't know if they're, they're real or fake or not. They look like fake rats or something like that. Flowing on the toilet. But. Uh, and this house looks like. I don't know. It looks creepy. It feels like you're in the middle of the horse show. And. Uh, oh my god. And the intervention was. Completely boring. And um, it was dull, it was quiet, it was dead. And um, <laughs> it, it, it was terrible. That live format was terrible. And, <laughs> and to be honest with you, it became one of the worst episodes ever. And they should never do that again. Now, during at the end... When the the show was over, when the show was over, um, uh, one guy just whispered, and he said, "Can I say something?" And meanwhile, the the camera just zoom up, show the house, and we have a di and we could and, and 
and and what you and you could hear the director say, "Okay, the cut. That's it. You did great, et cetera, et cetera. You see the the Holders Live logo and fade to black. You have to listen to me. That was become one of the worstest live episode ever." And I hate it. I hate the live episode. I don't like that format. I don't like that the interviews, it feels like you've been watching 2020 or 48 hours on CBS. It's stupid. It's stupid. This is not a, a, a news channel. Or you're watching the Hoarders News Channel on Lifetime. And let me tell you something. Don't blame the show. It's just Lifetime. They're trying to make ratings, okay? And... I don't know who was responsible for this, but it was messed up. Big time. But you know what? Hoarder's life suck. Okay? Forget it. But if you've been watching the tape version of Hoarder's, it was great. I watched the show. It was so addicted. It was so beautiful. People trying to let it all out. Uh, people always trying to help people's lives. And even... Some some hoarder refused to give her the cleanup, kick her husband out, and they were, and they already been arrested. And she was only seventy five years old. I already check up the update, so you know what it is. So yeah, that's it. Now before I go, I'm getting ready for my very special announcement. First of all, I got one hundred forty five subscribers, so thank you. But second, my very outstanding, ugh, I really don't know how to say this, but for the past couple of months or for the past, like, like a decade ago, I, I knew that this is a really amazing for me. I found new guesses, and guess what? They are definitely be a part of the Steam Factor 2020 family. And here they are. Emily Whitfield. Brittany Wright. And finally, my man, Dimitri Scott. All three guesses will be part as my family. The Steven Factor family. And also, they will be coming as the main guests on my show. Uh, I'll give them a text and they're going to do the, a phone conversation with me. And also, Emily and I are going to discuss about political situations, including the election night this November. So, Brittany, Demetrius, and Emily, congratulations. Welcome to the Steven Factor family. And I hope I, I hope you guys, I will text you and call you guys and you want me to participate on the show and give a little bit of updates about yourselves and it was completely amazing so anyways thank you and welcome to my to my factor family and this is uh pretty amazing for y'all i hope you very very appreciate it that's it y'all todo para la familia and this week, I will do a uh, a review, um, something we can talking about. But I will do a little bit, some researching. One of my DVDs under there. And yeah, it's going to be fun this March. Hopefully, if I don't have no ideas whatsoever. It's just for fun. Good night.